Hello, welcome to this course on Vedic Mathematics. In this video, I'm going to cover simplifying calculations by using the number splitting method. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and don't forget to click on the bell icon next to it so that we can directly inform you about the new releases. Number splitting method is very useful in simplifying mental calculations of addition, subtractions, multiplications and divisions. This Upasutra Lopanastha Panabhyam which means by alternate elimination and retention is mainly used for factorization of homogeneous quadratic expressions for two or more variables. But here in this case I am going to use it for splitting a difficult sum into two or more easy ones. In case of mental sums, number splitting can considerably reduce the work involved in a calculation. Let's see how to use it. Let me demonstrate this by using a problem of adding two numbers. Suppose you are given the addition sum of 2345 plus 6738. On a first glance, with the four figure numbers, it looks rather hard. But if you split the sum into two equal parts, each part can be done easily and mentally. Something like this. On the left, you have 23 plus 67. Let's start with the higher number over here in this. 67 is higher more. So I'm going to borrow 3 from 23. It will become 70 plus 20. That becomes 90. Now on the right hand side, 45 is the higher number, so I am going to borrow 5 from 38, so it becomes 50 plus 33, so that is 83, so our answer is 9083. So in this way, by splitting the number into two smaller problems, we can easily solve this mentally. Let me show you another example. I'm going to add the numbers 3, 4, 5, 6 plus 4, 7, 1, 7. Now I'm going to divide them into two smaller problems 47 plus 34 and 56 plus 17. So here 47 plus 34 will come up to 81 and 56 plus 17 will be 73. And that's our answer. By dividing the problem into two simple problems, we can get the solution easily. However, it's not always necessary that we need to split the problem into two equal parts. We can split them in a different way as well. I'm going to show you in this example. So let me take another example here. I'm going to add 7857 seven with 6328. First, I'm going to split this into two equal parts. Uh, so here we have two problems, 78 plus 63 and 57 plus 28. 78 plus 53 will come up to 141. And then 57 plus 28. So in this case, if I borrow 3 from 28, it will become 60 plus 25, which is 85. So I can get an answer this way as well. But let me show you how to make it more simpler compared to this. Let me sh split this problem into three simple problems. 7 plus 6 and then 7 plus 8 is another simple problem. So we have 85 plus 32 which is finally left. 7 plus 6 will come up to 13. 85 plus 32 that will be 117. And 7 plus 8 is 15. 7 plus 8 is in units place. So I'm going to leave 5 and carry forward the 1 to 117. So it becomes 118. Next we have units and tens. So after 5 we have 8 which is in tens. Bring down 1 and the remaining 1 is carried forward. So it becomes 14. So we have our answer 141. 85. This way by splitting the problem into three simple problems we can make it more simpler. But 
it's not necessary that always we can we have to go ahead and split it into as many small problems as possible so depending on the problem at hand split it into either two or three smaller problems and then calculate otherwise it will only confuse you let me show you another example to explain why it's very important to define to decide where you need to split so in this case i'm going to take 475 and add it with 765 so here we have three numbers so there's no option of dividing them equally so either i need to divide it on the left hand side or on the right hand side so if, if i take the left hand approach i am left with 4 plus 7 and then 75 plus 65 remember 75 plus 65 are two big numbers so in order to make it easier i am going to split it on the right hand side now we have 47 plus 76 which is simple compared to the previous one and then on the other side we have 5 plus 5 which will come up to 10 and we have 47 plus 76 so if i borrow 4 from 47 it will become 80 plus 43 which will be 123 i'm going to carry forward the remainder so it becomes 124 and bring down 0 it is 1240 which is our answer here what I'm trying to explain is it is not about just splitting a problem into simple problems but we need to decide where we need to split so that it becomes easier for us. To demonstrate this let me pick up another example. So here I'm going to add 4554 5, with 36 and 36. If I divide it into half you can see that I have to add 45 plus 36 and 54 plus 36. So instead of dividing it into two, if I divide it into three small problems, notice that adding 55 and 65, 63 is going to be a little bit difficult. And finally adding the result of all these three is going to be a bit confusing compared to adding two results. So in such scenarios, it's always better to divide a problem into two small problems rather than three simple problems. So in this case, 45 plus 36 so I'm going to borrow 5 from 36 so that will be 50 plus 31 which is 81 and I'm going to borrow 6 from 36 so that will be 60 plus 30 which is 90 so 8190 is our answer if you want to know more about this borrowing technique then check out this video before proceeding till now we have used the number splitting in addition sums but do you know you can also use number splitting in subtraction sums consider this example 5454 minus 1726 you can split this up into two easy sums that is 54 minus 17 and the other one 54 minus 26 so 54 minus 17 is 37 and 54 minus 26 is 28 and 3728 is our answer let us try another example double six double six minus two nine three eight here again it's better to split in the middle so it's going to be 66 minus 29 and 66 minus 38 so we have these two small problems so now it's easier to calculate 66 minus 29 we get 37 and 66 minus 38 we get 28 and 3728 is our answer the steps are simple split a number or a difficult problem into two or more easy ones and get your answer let us try one more example on subtraction 6889 minus 1936 have a look at this example it's very important when you are splitting the numbers whenever you are splitting just remember that solution should work without any borrowing if you go ahead you notice here if you split it like this 88 is lesser than 93 and you have to borrow from 6 so instead in order to avoid such things split it like this as shown on the screen now you can easily subtract them 68 minus 19 is 49 and then 
and then 89 minus 36 is 53 so the answer is 4953 so now let us see how to use this number splitting method in case of multiplications you can split the number any way you like but it's always best to split the number so that the parts can be multiplied easily without a carry forward in this example i'm going to multiply 352 into 2 so i'm going to split it into 35 and 2 so here it's going to be 35 into 2 is so 70 since it is in the 100th place it is 700 and next is 2 into 2 is 4 that makes it 704 which is our answer let's try another example 827 into 2 so here instead of splitting it as 82 and 7 I am going to take another approach as 8 and 27 this is because multiplying 27 into 2 is easier compared to multiplying 82 into 2 so now 8 into 2 is 16 and it's in the hundredth place so it becomes 1600 and 27 into 2 which will be 54 so the answer is 1654 let me take a bigger number for this example 121745 into 2 so in this case I am going to split it into three simple numbers 12 17 and 45 so 12 into 2 it's going to be 24 just add four zeros for the remaining numbers next 17 into 2 which is 34 and then 45 into 2 is 90 so when we add them up we get 24 34 90 which is our answer this way by, by splitting this big number into three simple problems we can easily multiply it now let's see some number splitting methods to solve division problems I'm going to divide 432 by 2 when you're splitting the numbers just make sure that after dividing there are no reminders left so now I'm going to split the numbers as 4 and 32 so 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 32 divided by 2 is 16 so the answer is 216 let me take another example so I'm going to divide 3 4 5 6 divided by 2 so I'm going to split it as 34 and 56 so 34 divided by 2 is 17 56 divided by 2 is 28 our answer is 1728 let me take another example 1 2 6 6 divided by 6 so I'll split it as 12 and 66 that makes it simple 12 divided by 6 is 2 and 66 divided by 6 is 11 our answer is 211 before ending the video I'll uh, take another one last example let's divide 2 8 4 4 by 4 so in this case simple 28 and 44 that is how I'm going to split 28 divided by 4 we get 7 and 44 divided by 4 is 11 our answer is 7 11 if you liked our video then let us know by clicking on the like button and don't forget to leave your comments that is the only way we can know how to improve our future videos please please leave your comments that's it for this video in the next video i am going to come up with another trick from vedic mathematics please don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button thank you for watching this video we'll see you in the next video bye bye